All right, my friends, I'm out here with my buddy Nation, and we are at a pond, and he says the key to this pond is top water. So I'm gonna find out if that's true. Um, it's a pretty clear pond, and there's a very obvious break where the weeds stop, and it just drops in the deep water. And theoretically, fish should be keen on that. We got low barometric pressure, a little bit of rain today, really cloudy, literally perfect conditions. I would rather fish Absolutely. one day like this than five days when it's just bright and sunny. Thank you guys for watching. What's your channel name, man? Bass Assassins Outdoors. Sub to him, guys. He catches some big fish. We're about to get on it. Thanks for watching. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? And I still lose him. That was a nice fish, man. It's like a four and a half to five. Okay, he came back for it, he missed it. He missed it. My, are missing it, man. Got him that time. Oh, he's big. He's big. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, like six bites, guys. It took like six bites. I don't even know. That was awesome. Oh, golly. Don't hook me. Ah, there we go. Oh, that was some awesome, awesome stuff. guys finally got a good one to commit on the top water it took a lot of bites let me see four hits i think before we finally got that fish in but that was cool all right guys a couple notes and then we'll get right back to the fishing i'm using a mega bass popper seems to be working pretty well um i wouldn't really use a dark color like this on a sunny day but with how cloudy it is been working great. I'm using an incredibly soft, soft, soft rod, meaning that the tip bends super, super easily. And I really want to always use a soft rod when I'm fishing trebles on top waters because when that fish hits it, I want to make sure that rod has enough give to let that fish take that bait down and kind of turn away and almost run with it before I bury the hooks into it. If I'm using a really stiff rod with, with line with no stretch, most cases when she hits that she's not going to be able to take it down because that rod is too stiff and it doesn't let the fish take it and bend that rod like that. Mono is also my favorite line to fish in top water because it has a good amount of stretch, it floats on the top of the surface and when those fish hit it, it'll absorb that shock a little bit and let those hooks get in the mouth before I reel back and bury. Yes, good fish, good fish, yes, oh, that is so cool, good one, dude, real good one. Oh, he's trying to bury me, come on. That is awesome, man, it's going to be hard to grab. All right, guys, getting maybe a little bit bigger than our last one. So much fun to see them just explode on it. All right, guys, not quite as big as I thought, but that was fun. Oh, you didn't scare me to death. That's a monster. That's a monster. That's a giant. 
Oh, dude. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh, guys. <laughs> Stop it. There it is. Golly, that fish hit like a ton of bricks. <laughs> all right guys once again i overreacted thought that that was a six pounder we're looking at maybe a four but awesome fish that fish hit so hard having so much fun all right guys seems they keep on getting a little bit bigger and bigger i thought that that was a six but it's probably more like maybe a four three and a half four but we're going to keep it up these strikes are getting more ferocious as this goes on Dude, big one, dude, no! Oh my gosh. Oh, guys, we just lost like a, at least a seven probably. Dang, got it. Nothing like the one we lost. I don't know, it's gonna take a minute to get over that one we lost. That thing came out of the water. Oh. <laughs> Apparently there's not much difference. Look at it! Oh, oh my gosh! I didn't, dude, I like didn't hear anything. <laughs> he just kind of sucked it under. Yeah, these, uh, we definitely found what they're keyed in on. Yeah, you could say. You did. You found it. Pause for a long time and you got to get the perfect pop. You got him? Oh, I missed him. I missed him. Yeah. That's what they're doing right here, man. Just How did you do it. that? He just swiped at it. Yeah, look at that. Dude just swiped at it. Sorry about that guy. I didn't mean to he didn't mean to do that to you. <laughs> God, oh my God. Dude. That was a hit. That was a hit. Goodness gracious, look at man. That. Nice double, man. Oh, I got a quick release on mine. <laughs> double up. <laughs> Way the heck out there. Oh, there it is. Got him. Oh my gosh, dude, is it dead? Is it dead? That too. Oh my gosh, man. That's a good one. That's a good one. Good one. Oh, guys, biggest fish of the night hit just right next to the bank. You help me, man? I 
Going all right, got That's it. That's a good one. That's a good one. Man, I thought it was like a six, just like the last one. It sure did. No, 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 no. All right, guys, probably the biggest fish of the day, looking at four and a half, maybe five pounds. It does not make up for the monster that we lost. I really think that fish was well over seven, maybe into eight. But incredible day out here. This has been a blast. Almost every fish, literally every fish has been on top water. That is nuts. How's a good one? All right, guys. We had an insane day out here awesome top water. Night. I don't want to bore y'all with like 35 fish catches, but dude, we caught a ton of fish. I'm just gonna highlight the best. Oh yeah. Um, we started thinking, since there's a lot of ducks out here, maybe that lure might work and nothing happened on it this time, but we got to talking. We're gonna come out here again. I'm gonna throw a huge rat. He's gonna throw that duck and we're gonna hook a giant. Um, match the hatch. Match the hatch, exactly. And uh, that one I lost, that one hurt. Um, that was a huge, huge fish. I don't know if y'all could see it or not. I haven't reviewed the footage yet, but hopefully you can see that huge fish jumping and throwing that bait. But like we said in the beginning, days like this where it's windy, it's cloudy, it's stormy, there's a front coming through, nothing better than that for topwater fishing. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one.